Want to have an awesome online map to view your server and players online? I'm Owen from Shockbyte and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up Dynemap on your Minecraft server. Dynemap is a plugin that allows you to view a live map of your Minecraft server's world, kind of like Google Maps for Minecraft. There are two ways you can install Dynemap on your server. You can install it manually like any other plugin by uploading the jar file to your plugins folder on your server using an FTP client. We have a tutorial on how to install plugins this way linked in the iCards and down in the description. This tutorial however will be using Shockbyte's plugin installer. First head to your server control panel and stop the server to make sure all of your data is saved correctly. Then from the menu on the left click files plugin list. In the search box search for Dynemap and hit enter. Then select the one that just says Dynemap. Then you want to select the mod version you want for the version of Minecraft your server is running. There's a table on the top right here to help you pick. For this tutorial we'll be selecting version 3.2 as my server is running on 1.17. Once you've selected your version, click install. Then proceed to restart your server to apply the changes. And now stop the server once again so we can edit the config files. Head to the server control panel and navigate to files, FTP file access. Then log into the FTP file manager. Navigate to the Dynemap plugin folder, which should be found inside the plugins folder. Locate the file named configuration.txt and click edit. In the configuration text file, look for the line that says def template suffix. Set this to def template suffix colon space v low res or def template suffix colon space low res. This is because Dynemap generates images for each chunk and this can end up occupying a super large space on your server storage. So either of these options will ensure you don't use crazy amounts of space and violate uh, Shockbyte's fair use policy. On the same file, locate the line with the web server port setting. The default value is 8123, but you must change this to a port that is specifically allocated to your server. To get a new port, open your server's control panel in a new tab. Then, from the menu on the left, select Advanced, then Additional Ports. On the Additional Ports page, click Add Port. This will generate an unused port for your server. You will now want to take that value for the port you've just set up and head back to your config file and replace the default 8123 with the new ports value. Then click save at the top of the page and restart your server to apply the changes. Once your server is up and running, you can view your dyne map by navigating to http colon forward slash forward slash IP colon port in your web browser, making sure to type HTTP and not HTTPS. But replacing IP with your server IP that can be located on the server's control panel uh, on the home page under the server address field as the first half before the colon is the IP. And replacing the port not with your server's port but with the port that you generated for Dynemap to use. It should look like this. Then hit enter and you should see a page that looks like this. However, if you haven't generated any area of your world, it might appear blank. As the world is generated by players exploring, you'll see it appear. If you want to show all of your world straight away though, on Dynemap, don't worry, you can. Make sure to have a world border set up though to avoid loading a massive area. We have a tutorial on how to set up a world border linked in the icons and down in the description. Then from the server's console, type Dynemap space full render and hit enter to fully generate your Dynemap. This can use up a lot of your resources on your server, so we'd recommend doing this when nobody's online. Don't want to cause anyone lag. That is it. You can now view a live map of your server's world. You can even see players' names and display map indicators for specific locations on your server. If you found this video useful, then please leave a like and subscribe for more Minecraft and other game server tutorials such as this one.